you take sand and fire and put it together and you have glass. Over the centuries, glass blowers have learned to make it into an incredible array of forms. And I've been lucky enough to come along at the right time, at the right place, to be able to expand many of the forms that were made throughout this 2,000 year history. I was using just human breath going down into this miraculous material, blowing it up, pushing its limits, making it as thin as I could, and getting it so hot that it would almost collapse. pushing the edge of thinness and collapsibility and making new forms. The Kennedy Center approached me about making a chandelier for the newly renovated Terrace Theater. The design really starts with drawings and to decide what kind of shape we want to make for that space. What I've always been interested in is space. I was thinking not of the object itself, but how the object would look in a room. One thing we, we'd hope the chandelier would do it would be to pull up people from the ground floor up to the new area. We've got two different parts in the chandelier. There's an icicle, and then there's what we call a split leaf shape. They're quite different, the two shapes. The icicle is very pointed and goes out from the form. The split leaf kind of wraps itself around the inside of the core of the chandelier. It turned out to work beautifully. This project is particularly important to me because it's going in the Kennedy Center. It's quite an honor to have a permanent installation in this great institution. Yeah.